This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Verse 2. Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh pass over the rivers. Verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. And I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to call Elohim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rachak, with his broken thumb, that will honor his apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth with faith and sincerity, as well as risking their lives, as well as their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwat, as well as the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. So I want to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations who whom appear like the other nations, but whom subscribe to the truth. To you I say Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church. A fellow servant coming at you with another lesson. The spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And basically, um, I came across an article, you know, that um through the spirit, you know. Thought of a few precepts because basically we at the end, you know, it's funny, you know, I was just listening to a brother out of a camp. I was having trouble coming up with lessons because of the fact he saw fucking with, you know, videos so toughly. And I got a whole bunch of pages. That's not the issue with why I didn't put up a video on certain things. It's just the spirit didn't really move me to put up a video or the CV or anything. But not to digress. You know, um, I came across an article, though, like I said, it's not been really too many good articles, in my opinion, you know what I mean, which doesn't justify anything, because like I said, if you can't think of an article, you always come out with a breakdown of a scripture or something. So, um, but like I said, I saw an article that was newsworthy in my mindset, because at the end of the day, you know, it's just showing you the destruction of this place. This place is um, falling slowly, and that's the worst way. For something to fall, you know, I was listening to the brother Ayash in uh, Mississippi, and he was talking about how you know swords gonna be sent to this place, and one of them swords is gonna be that famine. And um, you know, the thing is, that's the like one of the worst deaths, if not the worst death, because you know, drowning is suffering, fire is suffering. It's a reason why the you know um, the Most High uses those analogies. He you know he already destroyed the earth with water one time. That's a terrible way to die. Then he's about to do it with fire. That's going to be another terror. But they're both purifying agents, too, when you go into it. Like, water purifies. You know, you clean things with water. You know what I mean? And then, uh, you know, fire is a cleansing agent as well. But, um, you know, to pine away, the scriptures talk about pining away, meaning to basically just, you know, I forgot exactly what the word pine goes into. But the point being is, is like to, to, to die from that starvation. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's a slow death, and that's a very horrible death. You know, if you ever pay attention to it, like you, I remember growing up seeing those commercials when they would be trying to, uh, you know, the, the Christian Children's Fund and, and, and things of that sort, you know, they show you how uh, corrupt this place was because, you know, as much money as these charities take in, but prove this how much money these charities take in. Look at the, the chick from Black Lives Matter. This bitch done bought mansions based on charity. You know what I mean? Like, they not really no government-funded organization, you know what I mean? A lot of the money they get is based on money that people donate, you know what I mean? You had, you know, different organizations, of course, that donated, but for the most part, it's most people, like, just average. That's why you had so many, so much corruption. But, like I said, not to digress. I started with Isaiah chapter 47 because it says, come down and sit in the dust of virgin daughter of Babylon. And, uh... This modern day Babylon is considered a virgin because this place has never been touched. You know, this place was uh, considered uh, well to do at one point. You know, like I say, it was never touched, and that's why it's considered a virgin. But now it's being brought low, and that's why, you know, scripture says, come, come sit in the, the dust. You know what I mean? <laughs> Being in the dirt. You know what I mean? And you see this place get brought low now. You know what I mean? Like, you know, crime is up, people doing bad. You got people that's not doing that bad, but you got people doing bad. They just not telling you. you no, know, I. You know, the thing is, I know a lot of people that did um, a, 
qualify for stimulus checks and whatnot. And that's a good thing sometimes because when you take time to think about it, our elders didn't get none. You know what I mean? So it's a good, because you know what I mean? Everything that come that, you know, is shiny or sparkly isn't a good thing. You know what I mean? It tells you a gift destroys the heart, you know, in the scriptures. So, you know, uh, at the end of the day, you know, just keep in mind that everything is the will of your heart. I'm watching me go through some, I'm watching myself go through something right now, not to digress, but I've just really been thinking about it. You know, something that took somebody three weeks to get, I'm going on seven. And you know, I, I'll be a, a, a liar to say I ain't worried or thinking about it because, you know, it's not just things ain't just involving me. You know what I mean? On top of the fact that the Lord tested me more and more and more and more. But, you know, at the same time, it also is like a test of faith because, you know what I mean? I wholeheartedly believe in the most. High. I, I can only explain the things I've been through because it was my higher power. You how about me? I was shot actually watching out, consoling me and all that. You know, man didn't do this. It was the most high. When I get really low, it, it man doesn't really, the most high might use one of the brothers or a person or even my children to lightweight show affection or help me to a certain extent. But for the most part, I can see the most high behind it. But regardless of the fact, like I said, I mean, it's, a, it's just a lot going on. But uh, so I'm going to bring out a little bit of this article because it's not supposed to be that long. I've already been running my mouth, uh, you know, Sometimes I tend to do that, just, you know, not to to rant. Because, you know, to be honest, I would, I would rather have one of them spirits like the brothers that just literally take all of it on the head as opposed to ranting. You know, that's a, a actually a, um, another a trait of a man. A man doesn't really complain. A man just eats that shit up and, and deals with it. You know, now, like I say... I try not to judge people because I know I don't walk everybody's shoes and I know they damn sure don't walk mine. But at the same time, it's just like, you know, you don't know what the next person go through. So that's why I don't try to judge more so like that. I mean, I could assume or you, 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 cause we all human beings, we in this flesh, so we look at things and, you know, you assume certain things, but you should never really prejudge nothing. You know what I mean? That's why scripture talks about judge, not at least you be judged, you know, but nonetheless, the, <laughs> Nonetheless, it's judgment coming, and this is the spirit, because like I said, to see this article, because this is not by coincidence. They talking about it's about to be a gas shortage right around the time of the fact of people literally, like, they opened all this shit up. So that's a means for them to actually spend, you know, because that means they can hike the price of gas. And we was just talking about this at camp, so it's so funny. It, like, the brother was like, wait, prophesy. He was like, you should toss me 20 to fill up my tank now it's costing me 20 to get halfway and now they talking about and this is out of um cnn it says coming this summer gas stations running out of gas it says millions of people stuck at home for more than a year are expected to hit the road for much needed post-pandemic vacations this summer good luck finding gas and, and you know at the end of the day, you gotta remember esau peddles shit to this society you gotta you got you, you you don't understand how the government and these companies are all being cahoots you gotta remember when bush was in office i recall that you know what i mean you know i ain't as young as some people you know when bush was in office gas was the highest it's ever been here and Bush had money invested in gas, you know, certain companies and all kind of shit. You know what I mean? That's why Bush owned like a 50 fucking acre, you know what I mean, estate and shit like that after the fact of him get, be, be, being president. And still getting a salary from being president. That's the shit people don't even understand. So, Lockie, not that there's a looming shortage of crude oil or gasoline, and that's not the issue. They're saying basically, because you had a lot of people retire from trucking, and top of the fact, a lot of people don't even want to go into trucking because you got automatic tr automated trucks, you know, um, which was another one of Esau's plan. But then it's also, they don't have to pay you. Like, like back in the day, a person would be hopped up on different kind of fucking uh, lectures <laughs> to be able to withstand stand up for days on end because the longer you was on the road the more you got paid that's why you have um, truck drivers making a hundred thousand a year and type shit like that but now they force you to pull over you know what i mean because everything is like um not automated to that extent but they got like these things that check your time and, and i guess cut off the the truck i forgot how the dude explained it like we was talking to a truck driver he was like the money ain't in there like it used to be you know what i mean like don't get me wrong you still make a living but the thing is this is like the greed of this place has surpassed the filth you know because 
they willing to do anything to obtain because they covered this. Like at the end of the day, they, Esau's a colonel, carnal man, so he of course he want carnal shit. So in his mind, like it all, I always equated to Monopoly. You know what I mean? I remember growing up playing Monopoly, and when I caught the concept of the game, I'm like, man, this game, all it is is basically like. Um, What's that shit called? Uh, cutthroat. You know, you do what you got to do to get all of it. The whole point of the game, the game doesn't end until after you have basically took everybody else's shit. <laughs> like, and, and when you really look at how society works, you're like, damn. You know what I mean? Because, like, you know, I was listening to, again, the brother Ayash out of Mississippi. He was saying, like, what do our people really cover? They don't cover the most high. They're not seeking the most high. They don't know nothing about the most high. It tells you, oh, uh, um, my people are foolish. They are sottish. You know, they have not known me. You know what I mean? So, you know, they know about, I mean, I just got into TikTok just recently. Like, I don't, it's just like literally like, wow, people literally are getting fans and attention off of doing some of the most dumbest shit when you got all this serious stuff going on. And that's just a stumbling block for something, somebody that's simple. You know what I mean? It tells you it's simple. The beginning of wisdom is fear of you. How about Shimei Hashem? That's simple. You know what I mean? Like a child, a child supposed to fear their parent, not think that they they friend. I watch that all the time with my demon and myself. And I'm like, damn, hold on. My children fear me. And I I want them to fear me. I don't want to have to be beating you no know, little kids and shit like that. Like I want to be able to say something and they, oh shit. You know what I mean? Because, you know, at the end, they, a person can act like they fear and don't really fear. But they don't really fear their mother, but their mother jump up in my face. And it's just amazing to me. Like, ah. Uh, the pride of these motherfucking women here. Like, I'll, I'll probably not even go read this whole article because uh, the point is made, you know what I mean? Like, just based on that, how the fuck do you think this place is going to survive or you're not going to take a beating this summer if gas about to go up? I was listening to the elder Malcolm. He said in Chicago is already like $5 a fucking gallon. So, you know what I mean? Like, we ain't seen that yet, but I seen it slowly creeping. And once it get back to $5 a gallon, do you understand how much money that is? Like I said, I remember, I'll never forget, when last time it was at, at those type of prices, they were stealing each other's gas. I mean, I, I went to jail that year and came out like six, seven months later. And I'm talking about, they telling me, yeah, niggas uh, go to their car, try to start up their car, a nigga done went and actually literally done siphoned out their gas. From nigga shit. Or some Mad Max Road Warriors. <laughs> yeah, so I probably, like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read a couple more um, paragraphs because this is, wasn't really meant to be long. Indeed, drivers left the business a year ago when gasoline demand ground to a near halt. During the early pandemic related shutdowns, we were even hauling boxes for Amazon just to keep our bu uh, drivers busy. Right. Because that messed up the whole supply chain. And now the supply chain is broken up. That's why you go in the grocery store. I remember um, I used to go to a certain grocery store and get corned beef. Now, it wasn't the corned beef was out of season. It was basically they was having tr the supply line got broken. You know what I mean? Like, so, I mean, because it was a particular company that I used to go to this grocery store and get their ground, I mean, not ground beef, um, corned beef. And it just recently, within like the last two, three months, start coming back. Now, you, you got to remember, the pandemic has been like almost a year, almost going on a year and two months. So, that's a lot of time. <laughs> It says, we were even hauling boxes for Amazon just to keep our drivers busy, said Holly McCormick. And just pay attention to that. Amazon was making so much money they could afford to actually just pay all these um, subcontracted private drivers and shit. You know what I mean? It says, um, Holly McCormick, vice president in charge of driver recruitment and retention at Gord Gorn Dyke Transport at an Oklahoma tanker company. A lot of drivers didn't want to do the safety protocols. We're also working. And the safety protocol, that's the spirit, is one of the things is you can't just drive all night. You got to pull over, I think, at like every eight hours. So basically, like I said, you could get a certain amount of miles because most uh, truck drivers get paid by the mile. So they made it where you only could drive so many miles within a day. 
Not just any truck driver is allowed to drive a tanker truck. It requires special certification, including a commercial driver's license. We Okay, we're going to skip that. Uh, ripple effects. Jeff Leonard, spokesman at the National Association of Convenience Stores, said his members are very worried about what the driver's shortage will mean for their deliveries, deliveries especially with demand for gas already back up to 97% of where it was at the time in 2019. So, this is a convenience store, like a chain of convenience stores. So that's about to affect the supply chain on foods. On top of the fact, if, like I said, you got a driver shortage, it's about to affect the, 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 the you know, um, the price of goods because you're gonna have to pay the drivers more. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're gonna have to pay more for gas. So everything's about to go up. And this is not by happenstance or coincidence. This is actually of y'all by Shimmy Al Shah. Because I like I said, I was just listening to the, the brother uh, from Mississippi, and like he was saying, he was like, at the end of the day, you know, the, the, the Lord is about to bring great miseries. You know what I mean? And this is one of them. You know what I mean? You know, and, and the cold part of how he did it, and he's doing it too, because you got a lot of people at ease. You know what I mean? Like, I, I swear, the people that we had at one point listening to us and saying, oh, yeah, that's possible, or maybe on a, on the fence, because they like, well, I see this, or I believe this, but you know what I mean? You know, you know, it, it's like, kind of made me think about this. Like, I, I, I had an actual company I deal with the taxes with. I tell my demon about this guy. She wouldn't talk to some no-name motherfucker. And talking about, I'm like, well, hold up. Either this nigga went to like your local community college. <laughs> this dude that had a business for years, you know what I mean? Like, why? I mean, you ain't even telling me who's telling you this shit based on what though? You know what I mean? Like, because their opinion is this. Like, do you not, like, there are stupid people. With, do you know that they want, you can't even get like, like, um, certain paperwork. Like, you can't go to your, your, lo that's why they're making it so hard to go to like to the, to the IRS or to the federal building. You know what you got to go through to get in the federal? You can't go through the federal building if you ain't got uh, certain credentials. Like, they stopped a lot of shit, and this is how goofy people is. Like, they think, man, I'm, I'm, I'm about to bring up. Because, like I said, again, that was the point. Like, it show you that this place is lightweight just fucked up. Oh, it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that's a sure sign of it. This is Revelations chapter 18. I'm going to start at... Uh, Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna read. Um, this is the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter fifty, verse twenty-three. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? And that's bad. And the thing is this, like I said, it ain't about that we don't have gas. People, if you ever went into and understood the the um the science of fracking and what they're really doing, they they stealing all that old oil and they came up with a process to actually be able to use that oil. So it ain't that we got we don't have oil, we don't have the manpower to push that shit because what you don't understand is the truck drivers are the lifeblood of the economy so if you ain't got people driving that shit or driving the deliveries like that's what the whole point of the supply chain is if you ain't got this on a constant basis that's how you keep your economies going and that was broken back when they actually and then this is the scary part about it the lord literally got us pining it because he broke it for real but then you 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 got people because you still go in a store seeing certain shit. So yo no they they don't know what they talking about. But all it takes is for like another lockdown or something. Let another lockdown happen. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Verse twenty four. I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. And that's what majority of these people in this place, these Babylonians, aren't aware. They gonna look up at the last minute because they don't believe a second lockdown coming. But why wouldn't you believe that when they literally talk about the cases going up? You know what I mean? Like you got places locked down in the world right now again. Says thou art found and also caught because thou hast striven against the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And, and this going to this basically like, I ain't trying to make this that long, but this is a good chapter to read because it says, Come against her from the up, 
utmost border, open her storehouses, meaning, you know, talk about that fabric, cast her up as heaps. That's why I read Isaiah 47, come sit in the dust and destroy her utterly. Let nothing in her be left. Slay all her bullocks. We already talking about a famine. They already had, um, you know, uh, euthanized a lot of the um, animals last year. Um, it says, slay all her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe unto them for their day is come the time of their visitation. Because at the end of the day, we, we coming into a judgment. I was listening to the brother he was saying. He was like, you know, the Lord is merciful and, you know, loving and could be kind. But he also, you know, it talks about that in the book of Job, chapter 18, about how he's a terrible king. You know, he's balanced. So he ain't all just love and what, how Esau is such a fucking devil. He has convinced people, you know, that's why it talks about uh, the earth is in the hand of the wicked. You know. Who actually pushed this philosophy on the world? Because to the point where it's in other countries and whatnot. Because you know, Esau got people believing that the most high is just all good. You know what I mean? When if you got people in government that ain't all good, they'll justify some of the shit they do by the greater good. That's what they said about that, 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 that jab and stab. They said literally they took that shit off the market and then Put it back on the market. That shit that is back on the market. The same shit that was getting. You think they fixed whatever the fuck was wrong with making people sick? You think that really? <laughs> Are you fucking that naive? Oh my God. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 7. Babylon. No, no. Uh, Salaki. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 5. For Israel have not been forsaken nor Judah of his power. Of the Lord Yahweh of hosts through their land with Salakia, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Verse 6. This is talking to our people. Because you know, our people are some of the most indoctrinated into this place. You know what I mean? Like I said, that TikTok shit kind of really like just pissed me off though. Like, I mean, because I mean, you know, it ain't even about the fact that they live in their best life. It's like, wow, you really just that blinded that you sitting up here getting attention and probably really think you somebody based on that that's fucking if you can't see that's a distraction and and you know i did learn some stuff about it because the one dude i forgot how i start watching this shit that's how the internet will, will lead you astray <laughs> you know like i said it's a whole bunch of folly on, on, on the internet but the point is i forgot how i got into this shit long story short I watched it and come to find out this one that I was watching, the dude, I guess, assigned to um, Mayweather boxing team. Now, I'm seeing a little shit. He wearing the, the Mayweather thing and he don't get that to just anybody. Everybody that fuck with him, that's a part that got money or like you part of. Right. That's who get that. So then he made a statement about he a boxer. He had beat the dude up. And I'm like, huh? So then I checked the dude out and the dude assigned to Mayweather. You know, they living off in Beverly Hills and, you know what I mean? They TikTok is all about fashion and just doing dumb shit. You know what I mean? Like, you got to say people doing the same. That show you how easily manipulated people are. And based on that, know what I got out of this? Based on, I don't know, because I think the spirit jumped on me to watch this dumb I watched that shit for like a whole eight hours or something. Know what I think I got out of it? The simple fact that if people will sit up there and do a stupid ass challenge based on, okay, I'm going to try to do this to my husband or I'm going to do this to my wife. That mean that you're going to go take that chip and that Maxine. Karen fucking to you. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, right now they probably to the point, not to digress, this this lesson is about the falling of, <laughs> I'm going to say various topics, but you got to take time to think about it. Like, you got a lot of people, they talking about there's a lot of people now basically not trying to get the second dose of their vaccine. A lot of people still ain't getting it. A certain number of the population ain't getting it. But wait till they start affecting your life. When they like, oh, you can't do this without this. You can't do this one. They, and, and they sub top. They they doing it sub, sub with subtility. You know, they gradually doing it. Like they waited all this time. Now they talking about you can come visit Europe again if you can show you got vaccinated. So now they opening up the world to a certain group of the population. How long do you think it take before you got the average selfish ass? You know what I mean? Because that's selfish. You know what I mean? Like I say, I think about this shit all the time. I was just locked up, right? And then I had to go. I got to go to this fucking courthouse still, right? So in the jail cell, they don't give a fuck about you being six feet away. You in the jail cell with another person. Fuck Corona. 
yo, you know, like the jail cell control corona. But we outside in the public and we in a building. I'm behind a, a, a glass shield where this bitch can't even be by me. This bitch got a mask on her face, everything. I got my mask where I could breathe. This bitch like, oh, you got to pull that up. And I, was like, I almost caught her a bitch so bad. But I'm like, nah, you know, he like, uh, I, sometimes I let my thoughts go. Uh, you know what I mean? That's why you got to. You gotta hit them, 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 them fiery darts with subscriptions. Like say, oh, I was, I'm like, wow, for real. I'm like, and, and I almost said it like, wow. I just was locked up in here. Y'all ain't said nothing about, you know, you know, we in here this jail cell. Y'all don't give a fuck if it's okay if we we both get it, huh? <laughs> this shit gonna be horrible. <laughs> This is a lock it. Uh, it says, verse 6, flee out of the midst of Babylon. And that's for our people because, like I said, again, our people are the most indoctrinated. When I was watching that TikTok shit, literally was all Jake. I mean, I'm sure I, I would never go get no app. I would never really watch it like that. Like I said, I don't know. I, I went to the weird side of YouTube, I guess. I don't I don't know. But like I said, I learned something from it. I'd rather be suffering over here to catch that shit over there because those people that got something over there is going to feel very stupid when this shit go down like that. I mean, you seeing these motherfuckers wear their masks all the way on their nose. You know what I mean? This dude is a boxer. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, he ain't no like little Astrobula going to box at the little, you know what I mean? Like, at the little boxing camp type shit, he literally is signed with Mayweather. This nigga got no backbone though. <laughs> Makes he the type of nigga make sure the mask matches his shoes type shit, like dumb shit like that. It says, "Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, because this place is gonna get judged based on the sins." And like I said, that bring up again Job nine and twenty four, because like I said, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So these people that's in rulership that are ungodly people are having a lot of people go off. Like I said, that's why you know in this society, you know I just, you know I did a video about this years ago. It was a Mother's Day. You know, it's a reason why Ohio got some of the most um, strict um, domestic violence and um, uh, laws against women. You know what I mean? Like I said, they can sell drugs, they can do all kinds of shit, but you know what I mean? Let you get into an argument with a woman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they'll throw your ass up under the bus, the concrete, and the car. It says, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance, which is coming. You seeing that on a daily basis. Pay attention to how many so-called black people are getting killed. Like, I, I mean, like, take the time to really look back and observe. And he will render unto her a recompense. Verse 7, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. That made all the earth drunken, the nations have drunken of the her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Verse 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Now, it ain't completely destroyed, but you can literally see it's being destroyed. And it's being destroyed. Like, you don't even understand what's about to happen this summer. Based on that type shit, like, I'm 42 years old. I've seen hot summers and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, it's always an increase in violence during the summertime. But when it comes with... It's a lack of money or food or some shit like that. You know how bad this shit gonna get? Call her lawyer, lawyer. How about Shimmy Al Shah? This is the book of uh, Revelations, chapter 18. I'm gonna read um, down to. Um, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna start at verse 1. I'm gonna read down to. Um, See, it's some skipping in here. But I'm going to start at verse 1. Revelation 18 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And that's going into when this place um actually get destroyed, you know what I mean, um, with them ICBMs. Verse 3, for all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, which is prophecy, and literally you have seen that. That's why you got places like Taiwan that was actually like a part of China that literally has taken on the, the um, mindsets and the um, 
philosophies of America. That's why they have homosexual marriage over there. You know what I mean? But in China, China's not with that homosexual shit. You know what I mean? Like real talk. You know, like back in the day when the military, you know, don't ask, don't tell. You know, if you wasn't flamboyant out there, they couldn't just accuse you. But you just weren't going to be a flamboyant fag. Who opened that up? Biden opened that up again. Trump stopped that shit. So it's a, Trump was a lot of things, but, you know, he, he brought a, he stirred a lot of shit up for real. That's why you got these angry ass Edomites just ready to. <laughs> that was, like, I just did a video recently about that. How do you had the Edomite going to the FedEx? And I think it was in Indianapolis and shot that bitch up. I'm talking about within two minutes, he done shot like 12 people. No, I think it was nine, including himself. Yeah, he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon the Great has fallen, has fallen, has become the habitation of devils. I read all that. For the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And that's when basically you got these different countries making these deals with them, you know what I mean? Um, taking on their philosophies. That's why you got, like, China might not openly um, allow homosexuality, but at the same time, like, China doing a lot of shit too, because, you know, China is making a lot of money and dealing with um, ham a lot. You know what I mean? Why do you think the dude, um, what's that nigga, Akon? is able to do he you know he he gonna lead a lot of people astray with the whole wakanda thing and all that old shit but he like he got a, a line of credit of like billions because he's actually breathing in the infrastructure to actually um i forgot what city it is in um you know um i ain't gonna call it africa but we with them hamites you know what i mean and the thing is he gonna literally uh man that's why you got a lot of um Moabites actually marrying a lot of Hamites or fucking with a lot of Hamites. You know what I mean? Then you got a lot of um, Moabites here that think that they made it when they fuck with a with an Edomite. You know? <laughs> yeah, this shit upside down like a motherfucker. It says, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. You know? And I've heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, which again is addressing the Israelites. Because at the end of the day, if you don't come out of her and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, you're going to be destroyed with her. That ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh, while Yahweh, Shah, have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. And if... It's going to be double. You got to remember, it's no people that have suffered the way that the Israelites have suffered. You know what I mean? Captivity upon captivity, the bywords and the curses. So if this place, these people that actually like rule over this place is going to suffer double. And those that's joined on to them are going to suffer with them. Because it tells you in scripture, all those that's joined on to them, um, basically uh, for, the, for the sword to the sword. <laughs> you know what I mean? Roughly paraphrased. Uh, that's going into her pride. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. And this place deserve all of it. Like I said, this is the most prideful. Even with what this, what's going on. You know what I mean? I ain't seen a brother do a video about um, this gas shortage yet. So that was just the spirit. I was going to do it yesterday. But, you know, long story short, and, and, and you still going to have people prideful. I guarantee you. I'm going to see somebody put a TikTok video because that show you how it's an algorithm on YouTube too. As soon as you start watching certain videos, they just send you all them videos. You know what I mean? Now I'm getting all these dumb ass TikTok videos. <laughs> I didn't even watch that video. Like I did, but I did because I was watching like other stuff too. But it was like, like, and then I'm like, I'm not that fucking concerned with your fucking, you know what I mean? Like you got to be the dumbest person to me to think that if you can't see something going on nigga they just had you couldn't even go out the house it's one guy watching there um long beach griffey he a comedian and he 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 conscious enough though because he he do little skits knowing he he basically let you know he know this shit was planned it's fake you know what i mean uh yeah but salaki therefore shall her plays come in one day death and mourning and famine and you about to see that now, because like I said, this gas shortage come like this. Like I said, I lived when Bush was in office. He did some gangster shit. Well, a lot of people's alive then, but what I'm saying is, I didn't live like that. I had a job, though. I wasn't struggling. People was fucked up then. It was a lot of crime going on. I'll never forget that. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like, hey, listen. It says, uh, 
Therefore, I think that was like 2009, 2010. Therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for her strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. Verse 9, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live delicious with her shall bewail her. Because they're going to be like, well, damn, you know what I mean? Like, all these kings of the earth, like, like you know, you got a lot of countries that made money off America's dealing with that, that, that fiat currency, with that fiat dollar. And now they, they up there seeing, that's why you got certain countries that's trying to get about that shit. You know what I mean? Because they seeing what is is what is bringing. You know what I mean? They trying to get up out of it and still can't completely get away from it. <laughs> so that's showing you that, you know what I mean? You don't think they're going to be mad when they lose? Hey, the last time when um, America was locked down, the basically the whole world's economies was affected by that shit. You don't think, listen, it's a few things you don't fuck with men about. And, and money is like the top one, you know what I mean? Like real talk, I mean, some people prioritize it a little bit differently, but you know what I mean? At the same time, money is like only three things. A man, uh, you know, his food, his woman, or his food, his family, and, and, and um, his money. Like the fuck? So you don't think that's going to cause a war? I mean, like I said, I think people completely, completely forgot about that. All economies across the earth was affected when this uh, pandemic happened because all economies across this earth are kind of some kind of way tied into this, this I mean, you know, to this dollar. <laughs> it's funny because now they're talking about it could be proven that the um, CV was created in a lab. They just doing anything. Standing afar off from for the fear of her torment saying, alas, oh, Salaki, um, Back at verse 9, and the kings of the earth who had committed fornication and lived delicious with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of the torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come, saying that this place is going to be destroyed in one hour because the missile, the ICBM missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles, can move quickly you know what i'm saying like they were saying russia got one to reach here within like 45 minutes uh i'm gonna skip to verse 15 the merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment weeping and wailing verse 17 for in one hour So great riches has come to naught. So what you putting your faith and your trust in these riches, these carnal riches, like I said, like, again, that's what I got out of TikTok. A lot of motherfuckers going to literally just take this Maxine and um, take that, that you know, that, that, that MOB. And uh, how carnal and simple people are. You know what I mean? They all they do is advertise somebody else's clothing. I can see if you was on there and you advertising your old shit. <laughs> like, you advertising somebody else shit. Like now, don't get me wrong, sometimes those YouTube channels and shit like that, they get uh money for advertising people's shit. If you got a certain amount of uh subscribers, you know, you can get money off of YouTube. But you know, it's just showing you um how vain most of these people, especially our people, are because of this fucking vain ass, fucked up, wicked ass society. Um, verse 18, and cry when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? Because at the end, they, people made a lot of money here. And you see in the money about to lapse now. Well, they about to make, they got one last run because it's about to make a lot of motherfuckers rich. If this gas shortage shit going on, you know what I'm saying? And then the thing is, like I said, a motherfucker ain't going to like the trucking industry like that now. Because like I said, they got automated trucks. Why would you want to get in? That's just like um, welding. You know what I mean? Everybody can't afford uh, actually uh, a robotic welder. You know, only like big companies like them car companies and shit like that can. So that's always going to be a good, um, you know, profession or occupation to a certain extent. Well, I used say profession, an occupation, a job or a trade, but at the same time, you know, why would you get into something that, like I say, at the end of the day could be like, you got the bread to do it. Like, you got to remember, once they get to a certain point, they trying to have Teslas be affordable for everybody. Teslas ain't going to be damn near 100000 Once it get, 
once it get to a certain point, Tesla's going to be like a Ford. Oh, that's their whole mindset anyway. It says, and they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city where we, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for, one, for in one hour is she made desolate. And this is what I'm going to end on. Rejoice over her, though thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for your hawa by Hashem Yahweh have avenged you on her. And at the end of the day, that's what we are suffering this place for. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you know, we suffering because at the end of the day, we ain't just, you know, we want to be avenged. We want, you know, we want um, the riches that's promised to us because it's a reward coming with this thing. Well, one of them rewards is is, is the, the vengeance that's coming to this. It's a re recompense for this wicked ass place. If you don't believe that, you know, I'm going to tell you a, a short testimony. A dude fired me at my job. Tell me why the Lord put it in this man's mind to make some dumb ass shit to incriminate himself to get fired from his job. So it's always going to be a recompense. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, or be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Kol Haloyim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba Hashem, Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and sincerity, as well as risking their lives, as well as their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Until next time, Lord willingly, Shalom, Shalom, and Mawath Lababoa. Shalom.